this area is the area where there's the walking path. Um, that area is going to be rebuilt and uh, put back in its place. So um, hopefully somebody will have most of the structure done this winter. So I, I don't know what other kind of questions you'd like me to cover. Anybody want to know? What's the intended target audience for your grassland? Is it the same species of birds that's targeted for the island project? Yes, it's the same kind of coastal grassland. <coughs> so, um, no clover. 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 No which for, sparrow? For his, for his. The, uh, the grassland will be the same, basically the same vegetation as what's going on White Island. Right. So there's going to be a total of about 75 acres on White Island, about another 20 acres across the creek on the, 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 the nature trail. So I'm, I'm, the so only, the they'll, question they'll work together is, as habitat. Right. Same species. I, I, same species. Right. I don't want to find out that, you know, your 12 species. He's 13 species. One of his species is the clover. His species are my species. Yeah, He's just same, doing yeah. the job for us. Same, yeah. That's what I wanted to clarify. Same species. Yeah, same I, species. I should actually clarify that the no list. The there, there is a list. No, no. The, the list is. This was a, a parks project that the Army Corps was was gracious enough to triple our budget. Basically, so, yeah. Basically, the federal side of it, we're doing the the wetland restoration. We're using parks money to do the um, grassland component of it. Well, we, we would have, we could get some idea of a list of these birds from the New York City Audubon Society. Yeah, I mean, when we, we formulate the grasslands, we basically are picking grassland species that are native, and therefore, you know, we're not exactly sure what species we're, they're not targeted. It's basically creating a yeah, just on the fact sheet that's going around. Yeah, on the on the fact sheet, there there are ten, ten species that are listed that are that are potent that will potentially benefit from this habitat condition. We can't guarantee what what birds are going to like the habitat when, but this habitat is potentially suitable for all ten species. Okay. I think the thing, whatever birds you're going to attract to your area, and I'm going to eat the birds that are. That are going to be it's, it's, right? same, it's basically the same, 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 the same birds in the grass in the grassland, and I think the grassland is not the major component of the Army Corps project. The salt marsh is. So think 20 acres extra salt marsh is 20 acres extra nursery ground for killies and spearing and crabs. That that's the uh, that, that's the birthplace of your vitality of. We're going to be doing 20, 20 acres of, of extra salt marsh habitat is a huge contribution anywhere in Jamaica Bay. Don? This question has nothing to do with this. I mean, it has to do with this. This is all because they're building a, they built a mall up in uh, Pennsylvania Avenue, like Erskine Boulevard. White and Island. Want, yeah. No, White Island is. Yeah, all because of this. The Army's yeah. working. Yeah, the Army Corps project is part of a, a program of access uh, restoration. Yeah. It's the whole thing. It's just somebody wants to build a home depot. Birds are awesome. taken very seriously now, as we've discovered. Birds are very, have a very important place. It's a red outside. Very important place for federal money. Yeah. Very important. Uh, Dan, Eddie, um, I'm sorry. Just a question. So does one cabinet destroy the, uh, the location of the home depot location? Right. So they're building up this habitat. They're going to sign up. What's the going to know to come next? They sent an invite. They're sending out postcards. Yes, we're putting up signs. Actually, neon. Big, big neon arrows. So like that. These are uh, these are part of this is um. If you've heard of the Atlantic Flyway, it's one of the major continental routes for birds to migrate from north to south. They almost have to fly over the coast. They see habitat. They have ways of sensing, you know, beyond just visual, beyond our our perception. When they fly over, it's the same way that 
350 species of birds find Central Park every year in migration. They find it, they drop out of the sky, they feed there. So over time, we don't know that they will all find this site, or all, all the species that are targeting will find this site. But in the past, they found Floyd Bennett Field, they're finding Pennsylvania and Fountain Avenue landfill. They, they fly by and they know a good thing when they see it and feel it. No, even if they don't nest here, it won't be a waste of money because it's still it's still an environmental amenity. It still takes care of the erosion problem. It's still going to be butterfly habitat. It's going to be there are many other. Many other benefits besides just the birds. Do you have a question? Yes. Uh, uh, since you cut all the trees down and the osprey don't have the trees, is it possible to put up towers for the osprey to nest on? I think we're actually doing that in the Gerritsen project. I think we're in the budget for two uh, osprey towers on our project. So the osprey towers will be on the other side of the creek in the salt marsh, not on the island. But it should be a great location. It'll even be uh, more protected from predators around the soul portion. Thank you.